In this next question, we're going to determine the inverse of the function f of x equals 3x plus 4 algebraically. Then we're going to graph the given function and its inverse, then state the domain and range of both. So, the original function is f of x equals 3x plus 4. Well, the first thing we do is we let y be f of x, so now y is 3x plus 4. And now we switch x and y, and we should include a let statement or something to, know, to let the reader know there's been a fundamental change. So we say let x equal 3y plus 4. See what we did there is we just switched the x and y variables. Now we solve for y. Well, this involves, uh, you know, it's important that we do our order of operations in the correct manner. x minus 4 equals 3y. Divide both sides by 3, and we get 1 third x minus 4 thirds equals y. Now we let f inverse of x be y, and we're able to say that f inverse of x is 1 third x minus 4 thirds. We then can graph both of those functions. They're straight lines. We only need two points on each, or the slope and the y-intercept of each. And we can state the domain and range of each, and in this case we see the domain of the original function, the steeper one, is x element of the reals and the range is y element of the reals. Then the flatter curve, the black one, um, the inverse, has the same domain and the same range.